So as many people may already know, to lose body fat, you need to be in a calorie deficit, which means that you need to be eating less than what you're burning on a daily basis, right? And if we look at the general population and this whole overweight epidemic that's going on at the moment, it seems that most people are eating more than what they're burning. But I still strongly stand by my point that most people need to eat a lot more to efficiently burn body fat. So get your notepad, get your pen, get a cup of coffee and stick around to the end of the video because I guarantee that these tips are going to change your game. You know what to do. Smash the ting, yeah? So a lot of people, you included possibly, follow the same pattern. You'll find your maintenance calories, you might test it to see whether it's your actual maintenance calories, which I do recommend doing, and then you'll drop that by 500. Straight off the bat, drop by 500 and then you'll keep the same training plan. Exactly the same. And then you'll progressively drop your calories down, say we're looking at 2,500 calories as your maintenance, you dropped it down to 2,000 and then you're progressively dropping it down and the only way that you feel that you can effectively lose fat is by dropping more calories. So now you're in dangerous territory around some people as low as 1,300. Yeah, I did it. I've, I've done it. I've been there, done it. I've worn the t-shirt. But I was naive. But the issue here is the same as that of running a car, a high performance car. I, I love the car analogies. When the fuel levels are low, say your oil is low and stuff, you start getting all this spluttering, yeah? And then like, it's just, it, it's not really going forward the way that you want it to. It's kind of jittery, AKA, Low efficiency. Let's keep this, keep, keep efficient. Highlight efficiency because it's gonna be, it's a very, 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 very important word right now. Whereas what we really wanna do is have all the levels topped up and have be running on a full tank. You know when you put a full tank in your car, all of a sudden you're just like, ooh. And if you wash your car, I know it's like this placebo effect, but when you wash your car and then you get a full tank, like it's just game changer. Like all of a sudden it's, it's driving 100 miles per hour faster than it ever has before. Anyway, sorry, I digress, I keep doing that. And we want the levels, right? Because we want to be running at maximum performance for as long as possible, right? Because over the years, I've coached hundreds of people, bodybuilding shows, mums, I've coached a whole ton of people. And one of the things that they've always said when they've come to me is I always get weaker when I'm losing fat, when I'm losing weight. When the actual reality is, if you're doing it properly, for the majority of the time, you should be getting stronger. Wow, I don't know. So the question is, how do we fix this? If you're new to the channel, even if you're not, my name is Gabe, Gabriel Say. <laughs> and I make videos that help you along your journey in fitness, and in adulting, because it's hard. So if this video helps you in any way, hit that like button and join the conversation down in the comments. The fact is, there is more than one way to create a calorie deficit. And the reason why I mentioned keeping your training plan the same is because increasing your output in training is another way to create a calorie deficit. But most people do this with cardio. The way to look at it is cardio is the accessory to the outfit. It's not that split. It's not that split right there. This that split. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. You got your main outfit. Cardio is the accessory to complement it. So here's a mindset shift on how to look at things. Say your calorie, your maintenance calories are 2,500. We now use each method of creating a calorie deficit as a weapon. So what we have reducing your calories itself. We have increasing your training output, which I'll explain a little bit more in a second. And we have including cardio. That's three weapons you got. Why the ass would you go in guns blazing or ammo firing before you end up like Tony Montana? So let's keep the calories at 2,500. Now let's turn up the heat. Get uncomfortable, get intense. No more checking Instagram to see whether your crush has sent you a message. None of that, they haven't. They haven't, they're, wait they're waiting to see the gains. That's, that's what they're waiting for. And also chatting to enough people at the gym. Sometimes all I see in the gym is people just talking, 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 and they look the same for years. Stop talking. You only have limited time, stop talking. Do you get what I mean? And then you need to make sure you're progressively overloading. And without going into too much detail, progressive overloading is just having progression markers to know that you're getting better each week. It can be weight going up, it could be less rest time, it could be including a superset, it could be rep timing. There's so many ways that you can monitor progressive overload to make sure that you're getting incrementally stronger or better is a nicer choice of words, getting better each week. Then we see how that goes, yeah? We'll see how, how that how that pans out, how, how your body's changing, how, how much stronger you're getting. And then after a couple of weeks, you might start throwing in one or two little cardio. So you're just bah, bah, just throwing in a couple rounds. You're not getting a flipping full automatic oozing. Just throwing in a couple, bah, bah, one, two rounds. 
yeah? And then you see how that does, you know, 20 minutes of cardio, uphill walk, something simple, just throw that in there and see what that does. Then it allows you to actually chip away slowly because that's the only way that it's gonna stick. It annoys me because so many people talk about, oh, you need to do it slowly, but you're not explaining, explaining how. how. Explain the how. So that's what I'm saying, like, you know, start adding little things in and then you might throw in a cheeky, you know, 100 calorie drop. You might say, oh, right, let me, like it's, it's coming down, it's coming down. Let me throw another five minutes. So let's go 25 minutes for two days on cardio. Bah, you've sent another shot. So now you're just chipping away slowly and you haven't exhausted everything. And then after a little while, fat burners, I'm gonna come to, that's a separate video because you don't vex me about fat burners, but I will explain it properly. So stay tuned for that video. It's coming, I've recorded it, it's done. The aim is to manipulate all of these things slowly and incrementally over time. So it's not that you won't drop your calories, it's being able to hold your calories as high as possible because food is fuel and fuel is what we need to run at maximum efficiency. Bars! Gabriel say, 2022, done no. <laughs> And that means starting high and trying to keep it high. But yeah, anyway, I'm done. Out, peace.